Would you like accessories for your drone that are dirt cheap, easily replaceable, and you can get them on the same day? Well, if you do, this video is for you. So let's get started. Hello everybody, my name's Paul Tace. In this video, we are gonna be looking at 3D printers. Now, 3D printers are a lot more advanced than a lot of people may think. For example, there's already people living in 3D printed houses. Uh, scientists have 3D printed the first heart. Although it doesn't work, there is potential for it to work in the future. So it should be really easy to believe uh, when I say we can 3D print plastic things for our drone very easily in our homes. Now there's tons of accessories we can print for our drones. Uh, for example here, if we look at my Mini 2, I've uh, printed these um, leg extensions. Uh, now these are really good because this means uh, we can take off and land in grass uh, without needing anything like a launch pad. They're also very light, they weigh less than 9 grams, so they don't push the Mini 2 over the 250 gram mark. I've also got this um, lens protector or this uh, camera gimbal protector on here, so uh, if you crash your drone or if you get attacked by a wild goose, which I've seen, uh, there's more chance that the gimbal's going to survive the impact. There's other really useful tools I've printed, such as this battery tab. This was just one gram of plastic. It took six minutes to print, and uh, you put this over the next battery you're going to use, so you don't forget which order you're using your batteries. Now these are just things that I've printed, but there's also a ton of other things out there. You can get uh, like attachments for a GoPro, uh, you can make better clips to hold your phone, uh, you can also have a more condensed and a more um, compact case to carry your drone around. Okay guys, so a lot of you are going to be thinking, how much does this all cost? So in the background here, uh, this is my uh, Creely Ender 3 Pro, and this costs just under £200. Now a lot of you are going to be thinking, that's a lot of money to make accessories for my £450 drone. And you would be right. But there's loads of other really useful things we can print with this, and it can solve a lot of problems. For example, if your daughter needs somewhere to hang a coat, you can make her her own customised peg. If you want a special box for a Mother's Day present that holds a special USB that you've made for her, you can 3D print one. And all I've done here is I've put some magnets in there, so we've got a really nice lid on there. Now if like me, you had a SD card scattered across your desk, you can print a box uh, nice and easily, and you've got somewhere nice and safe to keep all your cards. And if you want a better holder for your graphics tablet pen, you can print one off. If your girlfriend keeps moaning at you that your 3D printer's taking up too much space, uh, you can print off a phone holder, um, download Tinder, and get yourself a new one. Okay guys, but joking aside, 3D printing is something that I found very useful, it's very practical, and although they take a long time to print, because you don't have a delivery time, you can still usually get things quicker than if you order them online. Now the other thing we've got to think about when we're looking at cost, is the cost of materials. Now this is PLA, uh, this ball here cost me uh, £16 and it's 750 grams worth of plastic. So uh, when we bear in mind that the things I've been printing off can weigh as little as one, seven grams, and um, I believe even, uh, even the pen holder was only about 50 grams or so, it takes a lot of time to get through the 750 grams worth of plastic. Now something else to point out is that although PLA is very light and strong, it's also very brittle. So although it's perfect for things like the leg extensions and the camera guard, if we want to print spare parts for our drone, and I've got a friend that actually does this, um, he's uh, an FPV pilot, so he prints his own parts, he'll use a different, more durable material. It costs more money, but again, it's cheaper than buying the parts separately, and he can also custom design it the way he likes. Okay guys, so that should give you a really good idea of the cost. For around £216, you can print a ton of accessories and also have loads of other useful things around the house. Okay guys, so I've been pointing out a lot of the pros, which are once you've got one, you can print things off cheaply, you can print things off relatively quickly, and um, you can design your own things and you can download free templates. So uh, what are the downsides? Now the downsides for me was that I had to put it together myself. So uh, this actually took me about four hours, and this is because I did it wrong. And I actually put, um, I think I put the extruder on around the wrong way, so um, I had to pull it, I had to take it all apart and rebuild it again. So it was a bit annoying, but once it was done, um, it's done and you don't have to build it again. Uh, the second thing is that it can be quite difficult sometimes to problem solve. Uh, you're going to have a steep learning curve when using a 3D printer. So uh, when I first started, some of my prints came out quite bad, and I didn't know why. And it was because of um, and it was because of a little belt going across here. Now um, 
All I had to do was tighten that belt, but for me to problem solve that, I had to spend about two hours printing something to see what was going wrong. I'd then have to try something, tweak something, and if it didn't, and then see if it worked by printing again. And if it didn't work, I'd have to come up with a new idea and then wait another few hours for something to print. So uh, if something does go wrong, it can be a long period of uh, troubleshooting. Uh, the other downside potentially is uh, that you're going to need a PC or some software because once you've got a 3D file you need to convert it from a 3D file into a file that the uh, that the 3D printer understands. So this is called a slicer. I personally use Cura. It's not hard to download. You can download it for free. So it's not a big negative. It's just something to bear in mind. And the other thing about this is it can take a long time to print. So uh, depending on what quality you want, for example, um, my pen holder here that I'm really proud of. I designed this myself and uh, because I wanted to do it at the best quality um, this actually took 15 hours to print. Now I could have reduced the quality and got it done in about four or five hours uh, but for me I wanted it to look nice so I took the extra time. But for smaller things for example uh, this, this only took an hour to print and it's in two parts. So again, it's not too much of a bad time. And once it's printing, it's printing. So you can go and get on with other things. And the last downside is that you need to calibrate your printer. Now, again, this isn't a big deal and it doesn't take too long, but it's something you'll need to learn. And although I would like to show you how to do this, it could take a lot of time. I'd recommend going and looking at other tutorials and learning how to calibrate a 3D printer. Okay guys, so where do we get all these files from and are they free? Um, typically, yes they are. So um, if like me, you enjoy 3D modeling, you can go download Blender for free for example, and uh, you can design your own stuff. Or if you don't have the time to do that, uh, you can just go on Thingiverse. Uh, now I'll leave a link in the description down below, but it's uh, www.thingiverse.com. So once you're on the website, if you just type in Mavic Mini, and I actually typed in Mavic Mini instead of Mini 2, because if you type in Mini 2, you get loads of mini models. Whereas if you type in the Mavic Mini, you get loads of drone related items. And then from there, you can simply just go through, you download them for free. And then once they're there, you can then just go and drop them into Cura, which is your uh, slicer program. And then you transfer them over to your 3D printer, and then you can print them from there. Okay guys, so I'd be really interested to know uh, what you think of 3D printers. Uh, for me personally, it's had a huge impact on my life. It's uh, just really improved how quickly I can get hold of things. If something at home breaks, I can fix it. If my girlfriend needs something, I don't have to go out and buy it. I can just print one off. And also where I'm a bit of a 3D artist as well, it's great to be able to imagine something and then uh, a few hours later be able to hold that in your hand. Uh, for me, that is really powerful. Uh, but as I say, there are other downsides. It's a steep learning curve, but I think it's one that's, uh, that's worth tackling. Uh, I, I believe that 3D printers are gonna be in every house very soon. And uh, as the quality goes up and as the ease of using them goes up, um, you're eventually you're gonna be able to just order things online uh, by downloading a file and printing them in your own house. Now, the last thing I wanna say about 3D printing is that if you do 3D print something, it's gonna have a lot of small lines going across. And that's because of the way the 3D printer prints. It prints in layers, so each layer you will actually be able to see. Although, uh, the finer you print, the less obvious it is. Now, if you want a way around this, uh, you could go and get a, a more expensive printer for around 800 pounds. And uh, this is the thing that a lot of people that print off small models use. And this actually uses UV light to um, cure plastic as it brings it out of like something it's dunked it in. I say you will get a better print. It will be a smoother finish, but it also, um, but it also comes with other downsides such as they're more expensive and they also take a lot more cleaning. Uh, actually, you don't really have to clean these at all. Whereas the other ones you'd have to clean after every use. Now, if you would like to get a 3D printer, I highly recommend the Creely Ender 3 Pro. I will drop a link in the description down below. Now, I've done a ton of research on this at the beginning of the year. It was uh, one of the cheapest. It's one of the best quality. It's easy to use, and it wasn't too difficult to put together either. And now, uh, when you balance all these things out, um, it's a pretty great printer, and you're gonna be hard pushed at the moment to find a better printer. Now, obviously, feel free to have a look around, do your own research, uh, but click on the link down below, have a quick look at it, and see what you think. Okay, guys, I'd really love to know what you guys think of this. As I say, I did have a lot of interest in it, uh, so please drop any questions in the comment section down below. Also, I would love to know, is this something you're interested in, and would you like more videos on this? So as I said, please just drop them in the comment section down below. If you found this video useful, hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator. I put a ton of time into making these videos and it really helps boost the channel. And an even bigger help still is hitting that subscribe button. 
Now that's it for this video guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one.